welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some really cute summer hairstyles that you can do pretty much just to like get the hair out of your face in summer when it's hot and you're sweaty because we all know how annoying that is having your hair everywhere. So I'm going to be showing you guys hairstyles that you can do that are cute but still keep your hair out of the way. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to click the subscribe button and little bell icon to be notified when I post so you guys don't miss an upload. I do mostly beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, so if you're interested in that, please make sure to click the subscribe button. We're so close to 800 subscribers, and I would really appreciate it. All right, so the first hairstyle I'm going to be showing you guys um, is one that I've actually been seeing on TikTok quite a lot, and I tried it out like two weeks ago, and I really, really loved how it looked. So I'm going to be showing you guys that. First, I'm just going to start by priming my hair because I'm going to be curling um, my hair for this one and just like the bottom part, just giving it like light waves. Um, so I'm just going to start off by spraying it. I usually like to spray underneath first. Um, and then I go to the other side. Now that I'm done just like gently curling my hair, um, I'm going to divide it into two sections to start with the half up, half down look. Um, I typically have to, I have pretty thin hair, so I typically have to like find the perfect spot to part my hair. Otherwise, you can literally like see my ear through it. So um, I have to find that like perfect spot, but I think... I think I got it. I think it covers it. Because, like, one ear, I don't know if you guys can see, one ear sticks out more than the other one. <laughs> I'm going to take my front pieces out because I just prefer it like that. Um, if you want, you can just keep your front pieces in. I like them out better. Okay, so now that I got my hair to a place where I want it to be, um, I'm just going to secure it with one of the elastics. And make sure to tie it a little bit looser because we're going to be looping um, the hair through itself. Okay, so now that we're tied it up like that, um, we're just going to be separating it, making a hole through the middle. And then you're going to flip this piece through that center part and pull it through. So it's going to hang out like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the claw clip and you're just going to pull it up like this and basically pin it upwards like that and then just spread the hair over it so it's not really noticeable. My hair is pretty thin so you can probably still see it but if you have thicker hair you won't be able to see it. Um, it still looks super cute though. That's pretty much it. It just gives you a little bit like extra lift in that ponytail so it's not like sitting flat on your head i really love this i think it's so cute and it's perfect for the summer just to pull your hair back a little bit um and still so adorable um for this next hairstyle we're gonna be using the gel this is like a partly slicked back hairstyle i'm just going to divide the hair into a half this is a partly um this is a half up half down hairstyle so just get your top half and I'm going to do what I did before in the other hairstyle and just clip the rest of this to the side. So I'm just going to take this styling gel and first I just put a bit on my fingers and I just kind of work it into the hair where I want it. I think I put way too much gel on the side. Whoops. Now that it's tied back, I'm just going to divide the hair into three sections again and just do a regular braid. So I'm done braiding it all the way down, so I'm just going to tie it off now. I feel 
feels so cute. Okay, um, but we're not done yet, so I have to finish. I'm gonna do this side now. So this is just what this side looks like. I absolutely love it. I've never done this hairstyle before, but I've been seeing it on Pinterest a ton, and I just think it looks so, so adorable. I absolutely love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side, and then we'll see how it looks when I'm done. Alright, so now that I finished with the other side, we have the finished look. This is it. I think it looks so adorable. It'd be perfect for summer, like I said, just to get your hair out of your face. Um, I feel like a little, like, fairy or something. I don't know. I think this is so adorable. I feel like I'm definitely gonna be doing this this summer. I just love how it looks. It's so pretty. Alright guys, so this next one is kind of like a variation of the last one I just did. Just a little bit, um, a few tweaks to make it a little bit different. Um, so for this one, I'm going to be taking my front pieces out. So, just like that. And some on this side, just a little bit. Get rid of that. And for this one, you're just going to be gathering all of the hair upwards like this, um, essentially into pigtails. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once again, I'm going to be using the gel just to slick it all back and make sure it looks um, smooth. So now that I've got my hair into the pigtails, um, this looks really cute like this, actually I could just leave it like that, but I'm going to go ahead and braid it, just a normal regular braid like we did with the last hairstyle, um, all the way down. going to be doing the exact same thing on this side and then I'll use a little bit of gel to take that fly away down. Perfect. Alright guys, and here is this hairstyle, super, super cute, um, I think it looks really like a clean girl aesthetic hairstyle, um, I just love it, this is great, I would wear this for like hikes in the summer or any sort of like outdoor physical activity, I feel like this would be really cute for that, so this is this one. For this next one, super, super simple, super, super cute, um, this is one of the two simplest ones um, that I'm doing today. So this one is just those little front braids that everybody has been rocking lately. I've been seeing on Pinterest everywhere and they are so, so adorable. Um, so for this, you can either do it with curly or straight hair. I personally think it looks better with straight hair, but I have my hair curly right now already. So I'm just gonna do it with curly hair and see how it looks actually, because I've never done it with curly hair. I'm just going to be, normally what I do is just kind of like shake out my hair and I get all my front pieces out. Um, I definitely need to cut my trim my front pieces, they're like all different lengths. But anyways, um, I like I said, I have very thin hair, so these braids are going to be really, really tiny, but we will make it work. Um... Alright, so now that I separated this side, I'm gonna do the other side. <laughs> I feel like this is a really unconventional way to part your front pieces from the rest of your hair, but hey, it works. 
Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna clip back the rest of my hair just so it doesn't get in the way. Okay, that could also be a really cute summer hairstyle. Oh my god, it's so cute, it made my hair look short. Can I help it if I dream of you? And if I dream of you, dream of you. Can I help it if I dream of you? If I know I dream of you. So that's looking cute. Now that that side's done, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to this side and just doing the exact same thing. Um, just divide it into three pieces and then go to town on braiding it. Can I help it if I dream of you? And if I dream of you, dream of you. Can I help it if I dream of you? I know I Alright, so I'm done with this side. It's looking a little bit like messy up here, but that is okay. Like for this specific hairstyle, I kind of want it to look a little bit messier so i'm gonna go ahead and tie this off as well and that is the hairstyle super cute i really love it i'm definitely going to be wearing this during summer a little bit is annoying um i really like how it like frames your face as well i feel like it makes your face look like you have like a stronger structure to it um and also if you wanted to elevate this hairstyle you really could just add like more braids on the side here or even like underneath that would look really cute um there's so many different like ways that you can elevate this hairstyle just with the two little braids in front and i think it looks so adorable for this next hairstyle this is literally the easiest one that we are going to do this entire video all you need is this just a headband that's it i'm just going to take this headband um i actually am going to fold it in half because I don't know if I have a small head or I don't know what, but when I wear this type of headband, it just looks like my head is just huge. I don't know. So I'm just going to put this on like normal, but I feel like with these types of headbands, they have to sit at a particular place. Otherwise they look funny. I don't know if that's just me, but anyways, um, I saw this on Pinterest and this girl on TikTok had her hair like this and I just thought it was so cute. Um, okay, so for this, you're going to kind of like brush your hair backwards a little bit just because it looks better like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to pull it up. All right, and you're just going to pull it kind of to like where you can see the top and the sides of your hair. And then the rest just comes down like this. That is so cute and i'm actually just gonna touch up this side i think because it's a little bit more flat than this side um i don't want it like too curly just a little bit of like waves this definitely gives me like <laughs> maybe it's just the top too but <laughs> i feel like this gives me um old money a little bit with the headband and the um top the collar top all i need is a skirt and some loafers and i'll be good to go Oh my god, you know who I feel like? Um, Charlotte from Sex and the City. <laughs> I feel like it'd also look cute if we did some light curls up here. I'm just doing it really like messy because I feel like it would look better that way. Okay, just add some volume up there. And voila. Literally the easiest hairstyle. It's so cute, so simple, and it just really like pulls your hair out of your face, which is really nice for summer as I was talking about in the beginning of the video. So yeah. In sticking with the braid theme, the next hairstyle that I'm gonna be doing is actually a bubble braid. Um, so for this one, I'm going to be using all of my hair and I'm just gonna be pulling it back like this. Um, for this one, I'm actually gonna be using just a regular hair tie um, just because I'm using all of my hair and an elastic can't really hold all of that. So I'm just gonna be using the regular hair tie and I'm just pulling everything back and tying it into one.
All right, so basically for this one, if you've never seen a bubble braid before, basically, you're not actually braiding anything. You just kind of go piece by piece and um, put it into hair ties. So it all, at the end, it just looks like a line of bubbles, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to be using um, the thinner elastics for that specifically. Um, I think I'm going to go about like two to three I have really long hair so I'm gonna say maybe like two and a half to three inches down per bubble um and basically just pull it through like so make sure it's nice and tight okay good thing I used my other hair tie for this because this barely goes around my hair three times okay and then I'm just gonna kind of like pull it a little bit so it looks more bubbly like that um and I'm just gonna keep going and go down like that the whole way so by the end of it you should have maybe like three or four bubbles depending on how long your hair is and you can of course make the bubbles smaller or bigger however whatever size you want This is how the bubble braid looks, super cute. Um, I think it looks really cute on short hair as well. Um, so this is just the back of it. And I love like the slick back look with it. I think it looks really super cute. All right, if you follow any sort of like fashion pages or keep up with trends, you'll know that the clean girl aesthetic has been a thing for a really not a really long time, but <laughs> for quite a while now. Um, so everybody wants this like clean, slick bag hairstyle. Um, and honestly, I've tried it out. It is great for hot days, for running errands, for going to the gym. So I'm gonna show you guys today how to do that. That is part of my summer hairstyles. Um, so like I said, my hair is pretty slick back already from, like it will stay slick back if I put it that way. Look, just from the, <laughs> from the um gel that I put in already I already put so much in I might put a little bit more in just to keep it exactly in place but um so normally I'd be using gel right now to just slick it back like I did in my other hairstyles um but what I'm gonna be doing is gathering it all at the top here this bun is actually so much easier than I thought it was um, before I even attempted it, I like didn't even want to give it a try because I thought it was going to be so difficult to do and it's actually so simple. All you really need is gel. Um, and I know a lot of people like to take um, pieces out in the front and leave it out and then slick it back afterwards so you still have um, this, so you still have your part in your hair. Um, I personally feel like I don't need to do that. I just tend to put my bun at a place where it doesn't um it doesn't like mess up the hairline so I definitely put it at the back of my head but I put it more like here instead of like up here so I'm just doing that right now I'm pulling everything to the back like I said my hair is gelled enough to keep everything in place where I want it but if your hair is not then you can go ahead and add more gel to it so I'm just doing this for myself right now and basically how I do slick back buns is I just pull it all back and then I just spin it around my finger like so and then as it starts getting tighter I just start to wrap it around and it kind of just holds everything in place. And if you want, you can even leave a little piece of like the hair sticking out here. I've seen like Bella Hadid and whatever do that and it looks pretty cute. Um, I'm actually just going to leave it in the bun so it looks completely clean and slicked. Um, so I'm just going to be tying that off with an elastic 
just so it doesn't really show and also I feel like if you use a proper hair tie it kind of bulges out a little bit all right and basically afterwards I just kind of like pop the bottom through it so that it's stuck um like that and kind of like pressed to your head if that makes sense um that's how I do the slick back bun if you do it differently that's fine but that's how I do it I feel like everybody does it differently but this is mine so this is that hairstyle super simple super quick and it always looks really effortless and good All right, and for the very last hairstyle, I'm just going to be doing a low slicked back ponytail. Um, probably one of the simplest ones as well. Really, really simple. Same thing, just like with the gel in your hair. Um, like I said five times already, I have enough gel in my hair, so I'm not going to be adding more to slick it back because it will just stay anyways. Um, but yeah, so basically just gathering it all up. The trick to like... Um, a slick back hairstyle is literally just making sure your hairs are flat and stay in place and it's all like smooth up here so there's no like bumps or anything like that um that's so pretty simple I like doing a low ponytail just because I feel like it looks really good for some reason um so yeah I'm just gathering it all together you can use a brush or a comb if you'd like sometimes I'll use a comb but I just then it gets like those little lines in your hair. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I prefer not to have those lines in my hair. Once again, this is all of my hair, so I'm gonna be using a regular hair tie instead of an elastic. I just feel like it holds it better. All right. I definitely have a little bump in my hair, but we're just gonna ignore it. Um, I personally like to do this hairstyle or any slick back hairstyle with straight hair just because I look I feel like it looks more clean that way. Um, it definitely doesn't look bad with like that little curls in there, but I just feel like I prefer it with straight hair entirely up to you though. Um, but yeah, that's that one. Super simple, super cute, and quick. You really don't have to do anything extravagant for this hairstyle. Literally just gel, pull it back, and you're good to go. And it looks really Obviously from the front, you look like you have no hair, like a little egg head, but from the back, um, it looks really nice and like put together, I feel like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you guys try out any of these hairstyles. I would love to see them. Um, if you post anything on Instagram, make sure to tag me so I can see. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!